guys welcome back so today I wanted to do my first holiday tutorial um, and this is what I came up with it's very dramatic and smoky um, but it has a little bit of glitter so it's very flirty and fun um, and it's all about the eyes so I left the lip very neutral um, the skin's very dewy but that's just me I always have highlight on so so yeah so this is my first holiday look um, I think it's really cool for parties um, I don't know if I would necessarily wear this to like my family Christmas dinner only because I go to my family Christmas dinners in pajamas um, so. I think it's also very appropriate for New Year's because of the gold sparkle and the smoky black um, shadows. I think it's very appropriate for that and the like crazy wing. So yeah, if you want to um, know how I got this look, keep watching. And if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Bye! So to start off, I've primed my eye with a concealer and I'm just setting it here with a translucent powder. And you can see I put tape along the side of my eye to help me create that wing along the side. So these two shadows I'm using first to put into the crease and they're from the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm just buffing those into the crease to add some definition and to use these two colors as my transition shade. So this is the next color that I'm gonna put in the crease. And I'm just building up that crease color slowly and making sure that it's completely blended so that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm gonna go in with this color. It has a little bit of a shimmer, so I liked it because it added extra definition. And again, it's just about building that crease. And then I'm going in with a fluffier brush here and I'm just blending all of that out. I'm then taking this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this to first cut my crease. Um, this brush that I'm using is actually an, eye sh um, an eyebrow brush, but it is just perfect for getting that cut crease. I'm going in with brown first so that it's easier for me to build it up to the black. And then every so often I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and blend it out because I don't want a harsh, harsh cut crease. And then here what you'll see me doing is I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm just going to be defining that cut crease even more and making sure that it's blended out. So then I'm going in with this gold color as my eyeshadow base and this will help the glitter adhere better to my eyelid. Okay, so now for the fun party part. This is Liz Watier's Gold Glitter Liner, and I'm just putting that right on top of that gold eyeshadow. I like it because it just added a little bit more shimmer without it being a full lid of glitter. But I mean, if you have glitter, you do what you want. So I've removed the tape, and now I'm just adding mascara. Just a one coat, because I am gonna put false eyelashes on. And there are the false eyelashes. Here I'm taking that exact same glitter liner and I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner of my bottom lash line. And here I'm just taking the original transition shade that we used and putting that under the lash line as well. So this shot is horrible, so I apologize, but this is just me going back in with that black liner just to define that crease just a little bit more. Okay, so now for the face. I've been testing out the Nivea um, Aftershave Balm as a primer. Everyone raves about it on YouTube because it has glycerin in it, so it, it gets tacky and things stick to it. 
so far I like it. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using J. Manuel's Filter Finish Foundation in the Filter Medium 1. This foundation is pretty cool. It's actually a silicone-based foundation, so it's nice because it gives you that flawless finish that those um, silicone primers do, but it's already built into the foundation, so you don't need one of those primers. Um, and this brush I actually purchased while I was in Korea. It's a dupe for Max Oval foundation brush that they came out with. It applies foundation so nicely. I'm in love with it. Okay, so for concealer, I've been testing out this new concealer by the... It's an Italian makeup brand called Pupa. And it's the same people that make that um, highlighter that I'm obsessed with. And I love this concealer so far. It gives you that really dramatic highlighted effect. And it's super easy to blend out. So to blend it out, I'm going in with my Real Techniques sponge. And I'm just going to blend this out. Now for my cream contour, I'm using this um, palette by Stila. This is their cream contour palette in light and I have been loving this recently. It is so easy to blend out and it gives you a perfect bronze contour. Obsessed. Okay, so same as always, I'm going to now set every place that I've highlighted and every place that I contoured with that Stila Cream Contour. I'm using the Banana Shade from the Kat Von D palette as well as the more ashier um, contour pa uh, powder. I love this palette. It is so good. The powders are so buttery and apply so beautifully to the skin. If you are in between trying to figure out what contour palette you really want to try because I know there's so many now try this one it is so good so now what I'm doing is I'm taking this pressed powder it's called bye bye pores by it cosmetics I know that it looks white but it's actually completely transparent so you will not be able to see it but it is magic. If you are somebody that has large pores and hate the look of large pores, I feel your pain because that's me too. This powder is amazing. It will give you that airbrushed face in like 30 seconds. It is amazing. I can't rave enough about it. So this, I'm going in with um, Milani Bronzer that I've been trying out recently. I love this bronzer, as you can see. It is so pretty. It has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. It's not glitter, but it gives you that bronze, sexy, goddess look, and I'm all about that. Okay, so for blush, I'm using this Bye Bye Pores Blush by It Cosmetics. It's very pigmented, so I just use a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow by Pupa Cosmetics. It is, I know, an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlighter because why not? It is amazing. I am obsessed with this. Look at this highlight. Yes, it is so pretty. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, so this is my trick of the day. If you want that look of fuller lips but don't want to pay for injections, hey, take a little bit of your contour shadow and put it underneath your lip. It'll give an illusion that there is a shadow under there and it'll make your lips look bigger. Here I am just going in and I'm lining my lips. This is an eyeliner, not an eyeliner. This is a lip liner. 
um, from Annabelle. I talked about it in my November favorites video, which I will link down below. It's just a perfect nude. I'm obsessed. And then for lipstick, I'm using this Lorac Pro Matte Lipstick in Coral. Oh no, it's in Peach. And I love these lipsticks. They are so matte, but so pigmented, and they last a really long time on my lips. So once you have completed the lips, this look is done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope you have a safe and happy holidays.